Hello dear students, in this video we are going to learn about the topic mensuration. Mensuration is an important topic in terms of mathematics IGCSE paper. In this topic you will be having sums ranging from 10 marks to 20 marks. So let's see what this topic holds. We are going to learn in this topic about area, perimeter, volume, surface area, and conversion of units. In the first part of the video, we are going to discuss about area and perimeter. What is area? Area is defined as a space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. By flat shape, we mean a 2D object. Most of the area sums will be based on 2D objects and surface area sums will be based on 3D objects. Now, over here, you can see that in this diagram, we have drawn a square. This square is of 1 cm in length and 1 cm in breadth. So, the red shaded part that you can see over here is the space occupied by the square. The unit of area is centimeter square. Since area is found out by multiplying two units, that is centimeter into centimeter, hence we get the unit centimeter square. Let's move on to perimeter. Perimeter, it is defined as the path or a boundary that surrounds a two-dimensional shape. That is, you can see this red boundary of the square or border of the square that is known as the perimeter. So if we have to find the perimeter of the given shape that is the square, we will add one centimeter of this 1 cm of this, 1 cm of this and 1 cm of this which will give us 4 cm. The unit of perimeter is centimeters. Since we are only adding the two units, that is why it is centimeter. In the next part of the video, we are going to discuss the different formulas of 2D shapes for area and perimeter that we are going to use throughout the chapter. Now, in this part of the video, we are discussing about the basic 2D shape formulas for area and perimeter. The first shape over here is rectangle. The area of rectangle is L into B. The perimeter of rectangle is 2 L plus B, where L stands for length and B stands for breadth. The next shape you can see over here is a square. The basic formula of area of square is side into side. Over here, A is denoted as the variable for side. So that is A into A, that is A square. There is one more formula for area which is not much discussed. That is, when the sides are not given, we are going to use this formula, which is half into diagonal square. The perimeter for square is 4 into side. Over here, A denotes to side. So, 4 into side. As we add all the sides of the square to get the perimeter, hence it is 4 into side, perimeter. Next shape is trapezium. A trapezium has two parallel sides. The parallel sides are denoted by A and B. So, the area of trapezium is half into A plus B into its height. The height over here stands for perpendicular height between the two parallel sides. And the perimeter for trapezium is sum of all sides. The next shape we are discussing is triangle. As you know, there are different types of triangle. The common formula for area of triangle is half into base into height. There is one more formula that you are going to learn further in this chapter is half into AB sine theta. How to implement this formula and how to solve sums using this formula we are going to learn further in our videos. The next shape is again a type of triangle that is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle also has two formulas for area that is half into a square. Now why a square? 
a square because we'll be having the adjacent sides equal hence a into a that is a square a to sin 60 now can you see over here we have written 60 as all angles of the triangle are 60 degrees hence we use half a square sin 60 in equilateral triangle the next area formula for equilateral triangle is root 3 upon 4 into side square again the sides stand for the equal sides of the equilateral triangle the third triangle that we are discussing over here is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangles are the triangles having two sides equal that is the two sides are equal and the third side may have a different size is called an isosceles triangle so over here the area of isosceles triangle is half into a square into sine theta the perimeter for all the triangle is sum of all sides that is a plus b plus c that is side a plus side b plus side c the next shape is parallelogram now a parallelogram is a tilted rectangle that is it has two opposite sides parallel the area of a parallelogram is base into height. Note that height is the perpendicular height given in the diagram. There is one more formula for area of parallelogram that is AB sin theta. Again, about the same formula we are going to discuss later in the video. The perimeter of a parallelogram is same as that of rectangle that is 2L plus B. The next shape is rhombus. Rhombus is a tilted square. It resembles to a square but it is tilted. So the area of rhombus is half into product of diagonals that is D1 into D2. The second area for rhombus if the diagonals are not given is base into height. Now you can see the area of parallelogram and area of rhombus is same because the rhombus is also a parallelogram hence we can also use the formula ab sin theta which is also the area of parallelogram the perimeter of rhombus is 4 into side because as it's equal on all the four sides we have same as the perimeter of the square that is 4 into side the third shape over here is a kite Kite, area of the kite is half into product of diagonals that is d1 into d2. Please note that area of kite and area of rhombus is same but the two shapes are very much different from each other. The perimeter of the kite is sum of all sides that is we have to manually add all the four sides to get the perimeter of a kite. Over here, the next very important shape is circle. We are going to learn a lot about circles in this chapter. The area of circle is given by pi into r square. Note the symbol pi. Pi, we are going to use the calculator value that is directly from the calculator and r square stands for radius of the circle. The perimeter of the circle, that is the ring of the circle or the boundary of the circle that we are going to calculate is 2 pi r. Where again pi will be the calculator value that we are going to take and r stands for radius. Then we have a half circle which is also called as semicircle. Since it is a circle divided into two parts, hence the area is half pi r square. That is area of circle divided by 2. The perimeter for semicircle is pi r. Again, 2 pi r divided by 2 will get pi r. Note that there is one more formula over here given as pi r plus d. This is an exceptional formula we are going to use in certain sums where there would be a baseline added to your semicircle. Next, we have sector. We have a special video on sector and arc length that we are going to discuss further. 
For now, we're going to learn only the formula for sector. That is theta upon 360 into pi r square. Where r stands for radius, theta stands for the angle of the sector. Arc length. Note, there is no perimeter in the sector. But we are going to calculate the arc length. That is the curved part. So to calculate arc length, the formula is theta upon 360 into 2 pi r. Students, please note down these formulas in your notebook as we are going to use these formulae for solving sums further in this chapter. Thank you.